More is being done to keep farms safe. A rural safety committee has been set up to also ensure cases of farm murders and attacks follow the correct processes for prosecution. I have committed that we will support our farmers. I will be in court. I will be opposing bail in such cases. And I'm particularly happy that we have now made more police stations, also rural priority uh, stations here in the Western Cape. And we are getting excellent cooperation with the South African police and the National Prosecuting Authority, working closely with the farm watchers. To keep visible police on the farms uh, there all the time, because uh, that's normally what, uh, what we need is if, if you see a policeman, if you know you can phone a policeman, if you know the police station is, is active and they can help you in a, in, in a matter of urgency, then it's always a, a, a matter of uh, assurance that, that you will be helped at the end of the day. While many farms were still operational during the national lockdown, wine producers suffered a huge knock due to the alcohol ban. Some farmers have had to diversify, but are still facing infrastructure challenges. More and more farmers are starting with citrus and avocados, and they won't be viable for export if transported on gravel roads. I'll be very happy if our roads can be upgraded. Mayer says although the province has experienced significant rainfall, farmers in areas of Witzenberg and the Karoo still need assistance due to the prolonged drought. Tanya Krause, SABC News, Mossel Bay.